Good morning, folks. We've got major weather alerts, forecasts, an earthquake, top science news from the bottom of the world out into deep space, and we're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Not exactly a wild and active sun, is it? No sunspots, no solar flares, and the solar wind is calm. The dark patches on the south, the coronal holes, set an earthquake watch on going right now, and its solar wind is due at Earth within about 36 hours. will show up nicely amidst this calm ambient stream telemetry. The break from magnitude 6 earthquakes ended yesterday with a 6.2 on the Carlsberg Ridge. Do love it when the pressure releases occur away from people. The weather, however, made no such efforts to be kind. Hailstorm in Nepal accompanying a strong deluge has caused flash flooding and damage to crops in the way of those ice stones. Coming next to the United States. The current system broke Las Vegas rain record, is dropping tons of snow along with the records for it and for cold, got snow in the northern New Valley of the Sun. But what the system does tonight will be of greater concern. The eastern wind convergence will carry the majority of the energy in the storm and explode with strong ones tonight. Eyes open there. And the same goes for India. They do have a bit longer until Cyclone Fani arrives, but there is a best forecast track available at the moment here. Bad stuff begins on Thursday and by Friday should actually be approaching that hail zone in Nepal we just visited. So folks, it has already been conceded that the majority of undersea ice melt is due to submarine volcanism. Now we find human pollution also off the hook for the majority of the peripheral melts. It's the solar forcing on the ocean complimenting the 10 papers in our book, saying the exact same thing. Folks, get ready for the next wild goose chase in dark matter. Having excluded the expected range for the dark matter particles, they are looking elsewhere, and these Hong Kong scientists looked up, have offered their best guess as to where to look next, and the problem is that they went too high. It's a super massive particle, 1.4 tera electron volts, 10 times the size of the Higgs boson, more than a thousand times bigger than a proton. Thousands, actually. If true, this would make the failed efforts to find it even more embarrassing. The more logical answer, however, is that they're seeing covert microdusty plasma, which could have that same mass and would produce the similar interaction profile. Are you ready for NASA and the University of Maryland to confirm the galactic field progress? I sure am. We have officially entered a new era where galactic magnetic fields are now no longer thought to be random chaotic formations of random nova over time, but there is a structured coherence to the galactic segments with symmetry and homogeneity throughout. This is basically the endless spiral tracing the galactic wind as opposed to the solar wind, and the uniform agreement across the galaxy to participate in this pattern is indicative of control by the central nucleus, not through random nova embedded in the galaxy. And last but not least, they say they've spotted an active plasma nucleus, more popularly known as a black hole, spitting out relativistic plasma bursts at near the speed of light. The interesting thing is the non-stable jet axis, which they believe is wobbling due to misalignments with the disk and torus. Either way, it is critical that their information shows the jet emanating from the polar region of the nucleus rather than the disk itself that is an ongoing discovery at the National Labs right now, and it indicates plasma universe physics with the instabilities rather than gravitational and kinetic action. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.